Oh, shalom family. I did like, um, I think I did like four videos already. So this is the fifth one. So I have more to come because I decided to do the signs separately because I didn't want to confuse people and I didn't want to make it too long, you know, for, um, I just, just, you know, so Aries can feel like, you know, and then the Taurus and stuff like that. I know, great, I'm eating. Um, okay, so this one, this one we talking about Gemini, right? Okay, so let's talk about Gemini. The twins. <laughs> Gemini the twins okay um so lavender <clears throat> lavender is Gemini's um pop out um herbs um uh, flower essential oil incense you name it lavender you can use it in any form right this beautiful, first of all, remember lavender just keep you calm, relax, and I would argue and say it's a little bit central, right? Yeah, I think. Okay. This beautiful calming herb has a um, plethoric, pl uh, plethora, of use, plethora of use, of uses, and it must um, suit to the Gemini star sign. Often seen as the as light and carefree, lavender best uh, complements uh, a Gemini's mind, body, and spirit. Hmm. The restless nature will sometimes need grounding, and this is where calming lavender steps in. To rest your weary head after a long day, add some lavender springs and a rose quartz crystal to a bag and keep it near you, your bed or under your pillow. This will help you to gather your thoughts and restore the inner balance that a Gemini so deeply craves, right? Whew. Star sign. So Gemini, again, research your uh, herb, plant, incense, the one to research is lavender. I know, right? Lavender. All right, so. Okay. Um, Gemini, May 21st, June 20th. Ruled by the planet Mercury, Gemini is an air sign that rules the lungs, shoulder, arms, and hands. Gemini planet usually feature finely divided leaves or stern, like the uh, branchy of lung, bron bronchi of lung, bronchi, bronchi of lungs. Um, hairy or fuzzy leaves related to the um, cilia in the lungs or subtle order plant associated with Gemini helps to strengthen the lungs and respiratory system or relax the nervous system, right? The nerve system. Mm. Okay. Fruit and vegetable. Carrots, pers per, um, parsnip, oat, 
Orchard, uh, Chrysanthemum. So is C H R Y S A N T H E U M. I mean M U M. Lilac, Azalea. A Z A L E A. Uh, oh, the um, the food, the food, the food deal, deal, the food deal. Um, the the da food deal, or oh, the full deal. D A F F O D I L. Lily of the Valley again. Lily of the Valley. I love Lily of the Valley. Honeysuckle. Um, the herbs uh, is um, hyssop, uh, lemon balm, um, lobelia, ella E L E C A M P A N E, Ver uh, Verian. Woodbine, yarrow, mid middle sweet, dill, fennel, skull skull cap, lavender, fenugreek, licorice, valerian. Okay, so remember, you guys. Do research, okay? Do your all your own research to make sure you get the um you got more information, right? Okay, so so we have um vanilla extract. Gemini's are super expressive in terms of their personalities, like vanilla extract and the cake. You have a way of commanding whatever social situation you find yourself in. You're a very social person overall, but you're still thoughtful, caring, and kind, right? Um, outside, you see outsiders see, see you as a fun, loving, adventurous um, seeker, which is definitely true. But that's not the that's not to say you don't have a more serious side to you. You can adjust to change very easily, which is sometimes most um, people ad, uh, mo most people um, admire about you. You know the fact that you can you can roll with the punches, roll with the punches, right? Okay, so. Gemini, okay, so birthday, right, is the is May 21st to June 20th, right? Gemini birthdays are uh, Mercurial, Mercurial, uh, Mercurial, Mercurial, whatever, Mercurial, uh, wit, uh, witty, and fun loving fragrance. So, the uh, tones, the fragrant tones that you should have should be bargamot, mint, lavender, lemongrass, and sweet pea. Both celebrate the whims whimsical part of your personality and helps to mitigate the temper temperamental woody as moody aspect, not woody, moody aspect, right? So, oh, excuse me. The aroma of bergamot is uplifting. It can also help soothe um, jungle nerve, right? Jungle nerves. It is playful and curious just as the Gemini sometimes. It is a top note, a very, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Vilicus, very Vilicus and, li and lively uh, entrance to the fragrance itself. Vivacus, oh Vivacus. Meanwhile, peppermint 
has the adapt adapt to uh, adapt adapt to genet adapt to genet adapt to, I don't know. what is that word let me see is that even I think it's adapt to genic something. I could have mixed it together. I don't know because they have that red line that something's wrong. So I probably did something to it and um, messed myself up. I don't know. Effect um, is uh, perfect for the ever uh, changing Gemini. Okay, so rosemary. Um, air, um, Gemini, uh, air sign, Gemini has a strong mind and is intellectual best. Rosemary has been used for, um, to fortify co uh, concentration and enhance memory. So use rosemary with your lemon roasted chicken for the cognitive boost and delicious uh citrusy herbal flavor so gemini herbs spice is apple pie spice curious and gentle with all super high quality okay not okay so i have um cinnamon nutmeg and star anise sweet spice that's the spices that are good for um gemini those are the spices that you guys should um you know the apples apple spices but they have um star anise they have nutmeg and cinnamon those are really good spices um strong masculine and at the same time very and they have a feminine aspect to it you know um you can add those spices um like if you have essential oils put those essential oils together with clove and put some lavender in it and then maybe the carrier oil should be like sweet almond carrier oil that could be a very sweet scent that you put for you um if you want to use it as a deodorant um you can add um tea tree oil to it and peppermint and a, and some oregano not a lot but you mix those together you can use that as a deodorant as well as a perfume it will attract the right things the right people and romantically it would um heighten your romantic senses just a tip <laughs> Okay, so now let's look at the, um, rosemary is the herb that, um, that, uh, Gemini should, should, um, oh, I forgot to do this. I got to do this when I do the essential thing. Ah. Um, rosemary should be a plant that you should want to grow, rosemary, right? Okay, so herbs, dill, parsley, anise, lavender, uh, marjoram, um, the uh, uh, the um, uh, uh, incense, passion flower, uh, characteristic is intuit intuitive and comfortable. Gemini struggles with allowing themselves to rest their mind. Passion flower is the perfect addition to any Gemini space as it ex ex exudes a sense of comfort and relaxation to ease your mind. Okay, so Gemini seems to have a smaller... Um, uh, you know, the shorter video. The thing is with Gemini, I, with those videos, I have this sign thing that I really wanted to, to, um, do, um, 
but I mean, you guys already kind of see the stuff. I wanted to, um, I'm going to see if I can post this because I want you guys to kind of have that. It's like, um, it's a, it's plant herbs um, by Zodiac sign, which fruits, vegetable flowers and herbs are best for your body. Look it up in Zodiac. So I wanted to do that, but I think I might just do that. Um, uh, just do a video on this on for that. Just kind of um, see if I can figure out a way to, you know, cause this is so cool. You guys, it's so beautiful and cool. I really want you guys to see it, right? Okay, so I must say thank you very much for this, um, to wa for watching the video. Thank you for all my subscribers. Yay. Um, thank you for loving me enough to listen. You know, you may not really love me like love me but um there's love there that the fact that you stop and you listen to me i appreciate that and i appreciate for um um all the sweet kind um you know messages that you guys sent to me i appreciate it and i look forward to doing more so the next um series that i'm going to do is going to be um, after Gemini, let's see, I'm doing, this is one, so I will be doing two. So after Gemini is going to be, is going to be Cancer, it's going to be Leo and Virgo. So I'll do that, you know tomorrow and then you know then i keeps going and keep going ah, doing videos no joke doing the research but i really truly enjoy it i enjoy it i i love it because i get to share some information with you guys and you guys get to go and and do more research and find out how you know how best to live our life and prepare for the father when he comes because the truth is there's so much going on right now in the world and we need to really focus on ourselves and the father and making sure that the messages that we get um, are, you know, in tune with the father and not just getting opinions so much, you know, um, because we need to make sure that everything that we do and say is of, you know, we are on the right track because because we've been on the wrong track for so long. Um, sometimes the, the lines are blurry. We don't even know which way is up sometimes. But we just, you know, have to hang in there. Okay, you guys, I love you guys. The uh, ancestors and um, spirit guides and uh, the angel, they love us more than I love you. <laughs> but the father loved all of us way more remember we do not pray like this we don't put our knees on the floor we pray like this and we stand or we sit okay all right all praises to the most high and glory you guys i love you guys shalom